You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated. With the one who has conquered it all. Hello, my friends. How are you all doing today? Well, I hope. I am just so delighted to be here with you again today. I thank the Lord for another day to live, eat, breathe, just enjoy all that he has for me. Today behind me, I have a picture of an otter. Yes, my husband and daughter and I went to a museum and we wanted to see the otter. There was only one otter, as we understand. And he didn't come out that often, but we really wanted to see him. So we, you know, roamed around and went to the other parts of the museum and saw other live animals and enjoyed them. And we had found somebody that told us that works there that this otter gets a feeding at a certain time. So we set our alarm to come back because he will come out, he or she will come out to get their feeding. So we did that. And there he was, there was the otter. So cute. I love all of God's animals. So, so beautiful. He created everything so just perfectly great for us to enjoy and, and you know, just, just to receive all of his blessings. Praise be to God. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with Joel Olstein's The Power of Our I Am. He is our encouraging and hopeful pastor. Praise be to God. So, Today's title is Celebrate. Each one should test his own actions. Then he can take pride in himself without comparing himself to somebody else. For each one should carry his own load. That's from Galatians 6, 4 through 5. I know people who are good at celebrating others. They'll compliment their friends and brag on a cousin. And that is good. We should celebrate others, but make sure you also celebrate yourself. Be bold enough to celebrate who God made you to be. There is something special about you. Don't put others on a pedestal to point where you think they are so great and I am so less than them. There may have been more, they may have more, be more beauty, more talent in some areas, but God didn't leave anybody out. You have something that they don't have. You're good at something they're not good at. It's fine to celebrate them and say, look how great they are. As long as you follow it up by saying internally, and you know what? I am great too. Amen. Thank you, Joel, for your word of encouragement here and for teaching us how to not just praise and celebrate other people, but also to celebrate us ourselves. Because God created all of us. So yes, why not celebrate us and what God has created in and through us? Amen? Amen. All right. And now, for David C. Hebner's clear my vision. I give you all the credit, God. You got me out of that mess. You didn't let my foes gloat. God, my God, I yelled for help and you put me together. God, you pulled me out of the grave, gave me another chance at life when I was down and out. That's from Psalms 30, 1 through 3. As a therapist, I often talk to people who have a defeatist attitude about themselves and spend a lot of time in a rut of negativity. I used to push clients to feel better about themselves and improve their attitude. If we focus on our feelings, though, we will remain distracted by our own sideshows of neg negativity and fear. 
although God instructs us to pay attention, close attention to how we feel, our feelings or emotional triggers are only a reminder of how much we need him to give us new thoughts and feelings about ourselves. No medication or positive self-talk can match the power, the powerful result of God's loving care, lifting us up and giving us joy as we cling to him with a thankful heart in all circumstances. I amen that. The prayer here today is, Lord, I pray that these truths would sink into me deeply and that everyone who reads these devotionals would acquire a taste for how your instructions work. With depression and anxiety reaching epidemic portions, you are the only answer to all of our life's problems. Amen. Amen and amen. That is so, so true. Wow. Thank you, David C. Hebner, for this devotional, for your encouraging words. And also, God, thank you for Psalm, uh, Proverbs 31 through 3. Uh, Psalms 1 through 3, excuse me. Let us pray. Father, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much that you are teaching us to celebrate not just others, but ourselves, because you created us and you made us great. You designed us for a particular purpose, and we thank you for how you molded, shaped, and formed our faces, our bodies of who we are. Lord, we pray that we would continue to take good care of our temples, these bodies that you've given to us to care for. And Lord, we will continue to throw in to to recite all of your goodness lord that you you've given to us to praise you lord for how you created us and all the gifts and talents you gave us and lord we thank you father that you are a god that is loving and filled with integrity jesus you walked on this earth with integrity and we thank you lord for that and father we thank you for your word today in Psalms 10, 1 through 3. Lord, that all we need to do is focus on you. You will get us out of our troubles. You will take us out of our rut of just negativity and all that stuff that is not from you. Help us to clean it out and fill in you, all of your goodness. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. All right, my brothers and sisters, may you be blessed today with all of God's goodness, no matter what you are going through, stay close to him and wait, wait patiently for all of his miracles for your life. Bye.